heard Javier, you said that when you play a real person, a portal opens between you and that person. I found that very deep and beautiful. So how was it for you guys playing these people who are not very great? Yeah, I said that because sometimes you said so many stupid things. <laughs> <laughs> When you play real characters at the end, you are, you are trying to approach to that person in so many ways by researching and reading and watching and whatever. And then you are trying to open this connection that has to do with the energy of, the, of what that person was bringing to the world. In the case of uh, Jose Menendez, yeah, it's an energy that I didn't have much information about because it's more about what they said. Well, do you like playing the villain, the antagonist? Um, well, I haven't had a lot of opportunities to play a woman who gets so unhinged that she lashes out. And of course, I want to be challenged as an actor and play things I haven't played before. I also wanted to really find empathy for this character and or sympathy, you know, why she would have these moments of explosion, what would, you know, what would be building inside of her and to hopefully like throughout the series be able to, to put layer upon layer upon layer. And also within the shooting, we got to try ranges of different takes, you know, where they were much bigger or much smaller, more internal, more loud and external. And so, you know, it's up to the showrunners and creators to edit and put together, you know, the performances and the power of editing is very strong. This opportunity to act in Monsters alongside Javier, who's so great and brings such an intensity to everything that he does, even in a small passionate moment or a loud, yelly, shouty moment, you know, is... It was like everybody's game was was just up so much. Giving her back what the beautiful words she said to me. It happened naturally, it happened so easily. When you are working with somebody as good as she is, you don't have to do anything. You just go there and yeah, and go through the process and knowing that you have a colleague, you have somebody to play with and it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. It took around six months to shoot this show, right? So I was wondering how many days do you guys estimate you were crying? <laughs> That's a funny question. Every day. There were times when we, you know, tried to have some levity and try to lighten some things up because otherwise you're in just this darkness, which can be really difficult and, and dangerous to go down that path. And I think it was a learning curve for both of us. We had to sort of find our our rhythm in it. Um, but yeah, you know, there were days that were dark and then there were days where we would be able to make jokes and, and laugh and, and have some levity. The experience behind the scenes definitely depended on the day. There were some times where the, the scenes called for a more serious atmosphere and times when we could be more lighthearted. Hello guys, I'm Carol from Brazil. Hi Carol. Hi Carol from, from Brazil. Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> I really liked your the both of your characters because they are very human. They have so many layers. Leslie is very maternal, but at the same time, she's very fierce. And Dominic is grieving, but also very <laughs> gossip monger. So how did you feel playing them? I completely fell in love with Leslie. And I think she's just an extraordinary woman and powerhouse. And like you said, she has this ferocity, but she's charismatic. She's uh, funny. She's smart. And she has this uh, real mama bear nurturing element. The great thing about the part was that they decided to do a little, a deeper dive and kind of explain in his backstory the, the trial of the man who murdered his daughter, Dominique, and, and how that changed his life. It's a very deep story. It talks about this sexual abuse and mental health. Did you learn something doing the show or maybe watching it after? What did you take from this? I think I learned that back in 1989 and in the 90s, it wasn't something that you could talk about or that people believed could happen between a father and a son and especially with males it was something that was so taboo and so like people just didn't believe that that happened and over the last 35 years it's been proven that it does happen and it's a conversation that is you know, being talked about. And I think that's what's so important about this show is that we're really shining a light on it. My hope is that for any person who has uh, emotions stirred up by this series, they feel comfortable um, reaching out to the resources that are provided at the end of episodes four and five and continuing the conversation. Yeah.